the Football Leaguer. White with the boot. Tristan Jackson on the return, and he'll be stopped up just beyond the 40-yard line. So it's been a defensive battle so far. You look at the quarterbacks that have contributed to the record with G. Roy Simon. The leader on that list, of course, is Dave Dickinson with 221 receptions from Dickey and Travis Ule right in the number two spot. Big one from per Spurgeon Wynn. There wasn't a lot from Spurgeon Wynn. Interesting that G. Roy Simon told us last week, Dave Dickinson, uh, the best quarterback he ever played with, but he wanted to make sure he mentioned Scott Milanovic, uh, Maryland's quarterback in Maryland. At the 42, Rough Riders first and 10. Durant hit as he threw, but he gets it to Getzlaff, and it's a first down grab for Getzlaff, who entered the game fourth in the league in receiving, and the top Canadian catching the football in the CFL in 2013. Yeah, off to a good start this afternoon with that corner route. Now, once you run a successful corner, now you can do this if you're Getzlaff, and you're going to get a little bit of more room. If you go deep early in the game, pushes the defensive backs off you a little bit, finds a pocket on the sideline. They are bringing the sticks right across the field to get a measurement. Getzlaff relatively quiet last week with just three catches, two for 82 so far in the first half, and a first down grab. And you know, right now the Owls haven't got home a bunch yet in this game this afternoon on Darian Durant, but he has been pressured and hit a couple of hurries and four hits as he gets rid of the football right now. They add up after, after a little bit. We're playing against Chip Cox in the Alouette. Defense, the emphasis was on getting the running game going and getting the ball out of Durant's hands quickly. First down over the middle. And is the catch made? Shea Emery says no. Getzlaff says yes. And they're marking it at the 35. The officials say yes for now, but will there be a challenge? Let's take a look. Well, I think he made it a little awkwardly, but uh, full mark for keeping that off the turf. Doesn't look like there'll be a challenge. Big catch, 23 yards. And he's over 100 already. 17 and a half minutes into the game. Here's Garrett trying to get inside. And can't turn it up. Chip Cox again. Quick pursuit. Three-game losing streak and a lot of pressure on Darian Durant. A lot of people... When this team loses, look straight at the starting quarterback. But when you look at his numbers, it's pretty impressive. When TD passes, first in the league with 26. Yes, he's thrown some picks of late, but that's still first. The fewest picks in the Canadian Football League. His second half efficiency is second only to Ricky Ray, who's missed four games. 140 passing yards already. Passing situation here, second and eight. Pressure from Iber. Gets it away. Jabbar in zone. And incomplete. Gets lap had a chance for it. Almost intercepted off his fingertips by Jeff Tisdale. And there's a flag in the end zone. Flag deep in the end zone. Getzlaff had, Getzlaff had a shot, a little, little subtle push on the back of Gerald Brown. He's up and upset about that. Flag came out late. After the play, objection on conduct. Montreal, number 39. That's a 10-yard penalty resulting in a first down. Had to be something that Gerald Brown said to the official as he turned around real upset. He felt like he got a subtle push in the back. Getzlaff got away with that one. Takes the drive. Brown sets up, hit again as he throws into the end zone. Tisdale across, and he's got the interception. Jeff Tisdale's got his fourth pick of the year. 
Went to the well maybe one too many times if you're Darian Durant. This is another corner route, crossing route, trying to get deep to the outside. And Tisdale down here is corner. He's just going to bail on his man and read the route from the inside receiver, basically coming from the backside of the formation. So hold it here, guys. You see that Tisdale, he just did leaves his man, gets underneath. Darian Durant doesn't count him in the coverage because he should be covering Taj Smith up by the sideline. And Jeff Tisdale just falls underneath that for the pick. So the fourth of the year, 21st of his career, six years of the league for the veteran on the corner who's had a good season. And that's a interception in the end zone and a goal line stand by that Fallowet defense here in the first half. Take over on their 25. Messick, spread ahead, second level. And barging up to the 38 yard line. That was a good collision at the end of that run. Jerome Messam, some nice blocking at the line of scrimmage to get him into the second level. And watch when he gets, now he gets his pads going, he's downhill. Nice hold there for him. Mike McCulloch kind of overruns it. And then now watch the collision right there. Diamond Ferry back in the game. 13 for Messam, so back into his hands. And he'll slide off the first contact to the 40 and has two more. Now, if Jerome Messam can run like that, and a lot like he did back in 2011, Outstanding Canadian in the CFL, over a thousand yards rushing. He is a force because he's that great combination of speed and size and power. Tough to tackle if defenders want to go low on him, but he's got to get that momentum going quickly here. Seven carries, 32 to start. Nice wander, going deep. And Grant Carter can't run under that. Working against Dwight Anderson, young receiver against the veteran DB and a former Alouette. And so the punt team will have to come on for Montreal. Made an effort, but Dwight Anderson just stayed in his way, just tried to cut him off and stay in his path the entire route. And allow him to cut inside early to that ball. John White. Jackson at his 30. And a decent return and bounces into the Alouette sidelines, taking out one of the equipment guys, Darian Durant who works tightly with Kahari Jones, gets set to go back to work. More on that with John Liu when we come back. Gary Durant climbing the ladder all-time list. Last week, his quarterback coach, Kahari Jones, already today, he's jumped over John Huffnagel and Mike Kerrigan with more on his relationship with Kahari Jones. Here's... John Lou. Uh, thank you, Chris. And uh, Jerry Durant didn't even know until prior to last week's game that he was on the verge of passing QB coach Kahari Jones. And once he had achieved that milestone, he and Jones didn't even talk about it after the game. But Durant says that that was a special moment in his career because of his growing relationship with Jones now in this, their second year together as QB and QB coach. But Durant says the only milestone he's interested in achieving with Kahari Jones is for them to win a championship together. And Durant is a starter because he says that every time he comes here to Molson Stadium, he is haunted by the 2009 and 10 Grey Cup banners hanging in the east end zone, really close to the visitors' bench. Guys? Boy, there was some battles in those years between these two teams. So that's the direction he doesn't look, and he'll be looking backwards here. Holding down. Saskatchewan, number 65. Penyar Conde remains first down. Ben Heenan back in playing at right guard today. Missed a couple with a knee issue. Devin Tyler moves to right tackle. More familiar position for him in what has been a changing offensive line for the Rough Riders in the last few weeks. Absolutely essential that teams these days have a quarterback coach guy who's played the position. First and 20. Right, running out of time, and he'll be brought down. Shea Emerald, the middle linebacker. 
Patrick gets home for his third sack of the year. So a 10-yard holding penalty, now they lose 11 on the sack. Going the wrong direction. It's just so difficult to figure out which one of the eight, seven or eight defenders for Montreal on the line of scrimmage are coming and which ones are dropping. Emery beat Chris Garrett to the quarterback and now it's second 31, look out. He screens it off to Garrett and Garrett able to get away and up to the 28 yard line. Defensive coordinator Noel Thorpe has done such a great job with this with this defense and going through some injuries, losing arguably his best player at the time was Kyrus Hebert. And, and still being able to keep things moving, and it's so unpredictable. You've got everybody on the line of scrimmage, and offensively, you think that you can make the big play against them, and then they'll drop players out of there. Sometimes you'll see a bear on the line of scrimmage, and on the snap of the ball, go right to the middle and play free safety. Third down, Schmidt. Booms one. That one right over the head of Kerry Irvin. He's in trouble with the boots of a rod inside the 10. And how about that? That's flipping the field. Ricky Schmidt, 67 yards. Carrier lost 10 on the return. So the nightmares continue for a guy who started the year very dangerous on returns. Last week in Moncton issues and problems here that have the LOS backed up. Wendy's Friday Night Football continues this weekend. A big doubleheader first. Ticats take on the Argos who return home after that great road swing, followed by the Rough Riders and the Lions in Vancouver. Live coverage gets underway 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific here on TSN. That's why this game is so important for Saskatchewan. Snap a three-game losing streak, but keep pace with Calgary and BC. 77-yard field flip there. Arlen Bruce upended quickly. Huge He's punt. on the corner. Sorry, Chris. Huge punt there. Really did flop the field and puts Montreal once again back in a in a hole. I mean, they a couple of series ago started on their one yard line, had to give up a safety there. Their average start position, 20.3 yard line. Saskatchewan just over 37. So they're winning the field position battle thanks to their punting game. Second and six. Here comes the pressure over the middle. Brandon London with a drop. A flag comes down. London's been fighting it for most of the season. Should have had the catch. And let's find out what the flag is in the Rough Riders secondary away from the play. Well, that's just one that Brandon London has to have. I mean, that gets him out of a hole. Real positive play. He had lots of running room. Offensive pass interference, Montreal, number nine. Penalty decline, it's third down. And maybe that's why London was so open. Uh, picked, called against Eric Delorier. Well, let's take a look. It's Eddie, it's Eddie Russ, and yes, although it looked like Delorier was fairly subtle with it, he just kind of ran up the field, gave him the shoulder. But that called and would have taken away the catch anyway. But he's got to catch that because he's fighting at night right now. Big time. Guy that's some of us thought might be contending for leading receiver on the Alouettes this year. He lost his confidence white with the boot. Back pedals Jackson just on his side of midfield, but away he goes. Flag comes down as Kristen Jackson's dropped inside the 30. He averaged over 10 yards of punt return last week, his best of the season. 45 yard punt, 27 on the return, but flag likely negating that Jackson return. Yeah, he is starting to get going a little bit. Corey Chamberlain had a decision to make this week as to whether During or not... return, holding, Saskatchewan, number 51, 10-yard penalty, first down. Tristan Black called. Leave Tristan Jackson in the lineup, in the active lineup, or bring on Jock Sanders. Maybe get some help offensively from Sanders as well, but elected to make him a scratch and go with Tristan Jackson in the return game. That wasn't his fault. Nice return by him was called back. Oh, 
So back at the Saskatchewan 50-yard line. Grant to the wide side, and it's over the outstretched fingertips of Weston Dressler. Rough Riders in the midst of uh, a second quarter that has been their best throughout the season with 131 points. You know, I, I'm not sure if George Cortez has decided to just abandon the run attack game because of the defense he's facing this afternoon or just because Corey Sheet still isn't back in the lineup and they may not have the complete confidence in Chris Garrett just yet. Heavy emphasis in practice this week on getting Garrett up to speed, second and 10. Here they come. Yeah. And they get to Durant, Scott Paxson, Tyrell Saber, and Durant is dropped once again. That looked like there was some time initially when Darian Durant first got to the, the top of his drop, he had a chance to get it out, and because he didn't like what he saw down in the coverage, he just decides to hang on an extra step, go ahead and run it here now. Right about now, he's got time to throw it now. Coverage over the top, Weston Dressler well covered. That's the guy going to the hole. And elected to hang on to it. First CFL sack for Paxson. On the ground, Carrier picks it up. They get the five yards, no yards. And Diamond Ferry will finally wrestle him till the whistle. Sounds and I'm gonna say, Chris, Tyron Carrier got an earful on the sideline in, in, in after that last one. So he's he's getting under those kicks now. Got under that one. Dropped one last week in Moncton off the face mask that led to the winning touchdown for Hamilton. And it almost looked like the previous punt by Ricky Schmidt he didn't want to even handle. No yards, Saskatchewan, number 28. It's a five yard penalty, first down. So After he handled line. that one okay, is conferring with Jim Pop, but it was the previous punt that got the Alouettes in trouble, and Ray Rochelski, the special team coordinator, had an earful for him. Yeah, who took full responsibility for the loss in Moncton against Hamilton, but he gave him an earful and said, just first of all, make sure you catch the ball. If you're a lip reader, look away. <laughs> Bad enough when a receiver loses some confidence, but that's really dangerous when your punt returner loses confidence fielding the football. No question. Nice one to the work. And now flushed. Ricky Foley in pursuit. Mike McCullough will bring him down at the 44-yard line. Doesn't run very much. Josh Nice Wander. But really didn't have any choice and was outside. Mike McCullough was there just to spy him wearing that brace on his right arm and he just once he gets some breaks contained here gets outside of the pass rush now it's up to McCullough to try and run him down he closes quickly Tanner Marsh of course was a little more dangerous with his feet nice wander a little closer in, in style anyway to the incumbent Calvillo, and there's a catch by S.J. Green and a first down near midfield. This could be a good combination for Montreal moving forward. You look at that short side of the field and Deron Carter working in combination with S.J. Green. That could be dangerous and really start to kickstart this offense a little bit, give Josh Nicewander some more confidence because you're going to have to back up and give both those guys a little bit of room if you're a defensive back or they'll just run right by you. Nine yards to pick up. First down here midfield. Back in the hands of Nessel, and not much there. Spotted right near the midfield stripe. And about a yard and a half picked up for Messam. Interesting little fake here. Watch left tackle Josh Burke here. How he is going to try and set this up and maybe fool the Saskatchewan. Do you see how he puts his hands up in the air like that to try and look like he's going to pass protect and then go ahead and drive run block. Didn't fool the defense. Interesting technique there from Josh Burke. 
Should be the final play before the warning as Niswander throws to the sideline and London dropped another Dwight Anderson there. Well, you can just see it. Yep. You can see it by his body English. He just, he, he doesn't have.